Hi, I'm Dr. Q with DrQuestin.com. And one of the questions that my clients often ask me about is, when I bring my kitty home from surgery, how can I protect that cat and introduce him back to the other cats that were left at home? Well, for one thing, you have to remember that the cat that was in the veterinary hospital often has the smells of the veterinary hospital on them. Bringing those smells home into the house can be very frightening and very stressful for the cats that didn't have to go in for surgery. Not only is the smells on the cat going to be a stress factor for the other cats, but as well if your cat might have a bandage uh, come home, that's going to be different and can be concerning to the other cats in the household. Um, and as well as if the cat is on pain medication and they're a little groggy or maybe if it's right after surgery they might not even be able to stand or walk at all and if that's the case uh, certainly that's going to seem odd to the other cats in the household and can be very concerning to them uh, and they can have any kind of a reaction from running and hiding not eating urinating outside the litter box um, or even attacking the cat that you bring home from surgery so the most important thing i advise my clients to keep in mind is when you bring a cat home that's had something significant like like that happened to them, bring them home and separate them. Uh, if you had surgery, they would put you in a hospital room and you would be isolated from all your coworkers and all of your friends and family and be required to have certain hours of rest. And that should be the same thing for any cat that's had surgery as well. So just put the cat in a separate room, separate food and water, separate litter box. Uh, perhaps the cats can smell each other under the door, but until the patient is up and bouncing and feeling strong and well, again, it's best to keep the two separated. On that note, I'm Dr. Q and the rest is up to you. Thanks for stopping in today.